true confession time, and I'm embarrassed to admit this. When I picture myself, this is how I like to think of myself. This is my favorite picture. Jennifer took it a couple of years ago out at Bryce National Park. I like it so much it's my screensaver, but I don't look like that anymore. I saw this picture that she took more recently. I have gained so much weight. I'm fat. Well, this week I talked to a top weight loss expert and he told me that the RV lifestyle may be a big contributing factor. In fact, he told me that 80% of you out there may have the same problem I have. So what can I do about it? Well, that is the subject of our interview of the week. Joining us right now from Custom Health Centers is Dr. Jason Olofsson. And uh, Dr. Jason, this is great to have you on because uh, I've got to have a serious talk with myself and with our uh, followers here on YouTube and on the podcast about um, taking care of ourselves. So this lifestyle of RV travel can be pretty unhealthy. What can we do about taking better care of our health and all of us getting rid of those extra pounds that creep up? Well, first of all, Mike, thank you so much for having me on with, with you guys. I know that, that you guys are growing, and this is a, a growing community, and, and I'm honored to, uh, to be speaking to the, the RV lifestyle community. Um, first and foremost, we've, we've got an epidemic in our society, and this epidemic is something that most people don't really think about. Um, you know, most, most, of, um, most Americans look like their peer group, right? And so um, you might see one or two outliers in terms of their weight, and, and we might think, oh, that person could lose a couple of pounds. But statistics actually are saying that over 80% of Americans are now overweight. I actually found myself in this, this category. Um, actually, I was in the obese category a couple of years ago, about five or six years ago. I, I woke up one morning and I just decided, it's time to step on the scale. I'd like to see what the number reads. And uh, it read 292 pounds. I couldn't believe it. Um, and so I decided to, to really start making some, some healthy lifestyle changes for myself. I, I ended up losing about 60 pounds and have been able to keep that off over, over the six year period of time. And the nice part is that I started helping the clients that came into my office and we have, we've got a custom weight loss program that's specific for each and every person that walks in the door. Um, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. We've helped over 10,000 people worldwide. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot of people. Let's, let's talk about this RV lifestyle for a minute. You mentioned eighty percent of the public is is obese or overweight. Um, I one of the problems about the RV lifestyle, of course, is people are on the road. They're experiencing new things. They're in vacation mode. They're yes. they're uh, they're they're tempted to overindulge, and uh, then they're doing a lot of sitting, driving, yeah. uh, hanging out at a campfire. What's, uh, what are some of the things that people can do to, uh, to still enjoy this lifestyle, but uh, to get a grip on, uh, on this growing pr problem of, of obesity? Well, I think that if, I think you brought something up that's really important. Um, I, I actually call sitting too much sitting disease. And so sitting disease is, has been coined by some medical research in the past, but we do a lot of education around that in my offices. Um, I don't know if you know this, Mike, but inactivity is actually the fourth leading uh, risk factor for global mortality. So like people sitting too much equals a, a risk factor for death. <laughs> it, it really is something that, that we've got to watch out for. So the, the RV lifestyle, actually, um, I, I think it sounds amazing. But one of the, the biggest things that I can stress for the people in RVs around the country is, hey, it's time to get up every 20 or 30 minutes, take a walk. And, and if you're going to be on an extended drive for a while, a couple hours bef between gas stops, then make sure that while you're filling up, you're getting a good 20 or 30 minutes of exercise. And that could be as easy as a walk around the gas station and back into the, uh, in, into the RV. Now, when we're on the road, eating is always an issue. Uh, people tend to, uh, to, to fill up on the bad stuff. 
what are some some things that we can do about making sure the food we eat is 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 good for us? Not only good tasting, but good for us. We always are told more fruits and vegetables and lean meats and all that stuff. But is there an easier way here? Oh well, I, I think that preparation is always the the answer. And so um, I know that for myself, we we uh, took a spring break trip this year at, with as a family. I've got five little kids. And, um, and we went down to Destin, Florida from Michigan. And you, so you we know, had the six, you know where we are right now, hour drive ahead of us. And, um, and where are you at? Destin, Florida. <laughs> are you really? Oh man. Yeah, this is Destin. a condo here, down here. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Now. <laughs> Destin is such a beautiful area. We, we actually asked ourselves, why don't we move to Destin? This is beautiful. <laughs> so, um, good, good choice. Um, well, on the road, um, we we actually stocked up. So we went to uh, Costco before we got on the road, and um, and we had a cooler in the in between our seats in in the van that we've got, and we loaded up with with healthy alternatives to junk food on the road because I know myself. Um, I, I can easily get sidetracked on, while on a road trip. So it's easy to pull into a fast food restaurant. It's easy to um, pull into the gas station and grab a bag of chips or a bag of, uh, of candy of some kind and then just start munching away. But if you, if, you, uh, if you start thinking ahead and you start saying, okay, if I'm on the road, what things do I like to eat? And then what things will keep me you know, from eating other things. So if chips are a, a big thing, um, I'm a, a big believer that a lower carb lifestyle is is the lifestyle for that, that most of us need. Now there's exceptions to that, but I'm a big believer in that. So I always grab a bag of what's called wisps and Costco's around the country carry them. Um, and they are Parmesan cheese crisps. They, they taste like you're munching on chips, but they're they're, uh, they're made out of Parmesan cheese and they're satisfying. So that's, that's a good choice. Um, I also stock up on lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, we also stock up on, on a whole bunch of different waters and, uh, and um, different stevia drops for the waters. And so, so when, you're, when you're on the road, you can make healthy choices rather than, um, rather than you know, just the fast food choices that we normally would. What about um, aging and weight? Uh, there's a, I've heard people say, oh, you know, I've dieted and I've fought this stuff all my life, but I'm at an age now where it doesn't make any difference. I'm never going to get it off. Uh, are people ever too old to take control, eat healthy, and lose weight? Actually, Mike, the, the science doesn't say that. What science says is that as people age, they typically become more sedentary. And so um, the RV lifestyle might, might lead to some of that excess weight gain. And so the people start to feel like, uh, I'm, I'm not as, as active as I used to be. I'm not in the gym as much as I used to be. So I don't carry as much muscle mass. Um, muscle mass is, is what really sort of sets our metabolism in motion. And so um, if you've got some muscle mass loss from from being sedentary and then you um and then you're gonna travel around the the country as as we age my my grandpa is an rv lifestyle fan um and so um he has he's gained a couple pounds and we we've worked with him to get it off now he's 84 years old i've had clients as old as 94 years old who have done my program and that client actually um ended up losing 42 pounds. So I don't believe that there's ever an age that is too old, but I, I do believe that there, it will take a little bit more effort the older you are and the more established into the habits that you've been leading uh, in your life. So, so if you've got habits that are not conducive to weight loss or not conducive to, to a fitness regime, then, then it might be a little bit more difficult, but, but it's just about learning new habits. One of the things that uh, has interested me in your program is uh, you talk to, is you help people all across the country and uh, technology plays a big role in that. Uh, uh, tell us how that works. I mean, if it's a, and also you, your company is, it's custom, uh, custom health centers. So that implies to me that there's something individual about the programs you put. It's not just, you know, slash 800 calories a day off your diet and eat twigs and you <laughs> lose weight, which I guess you would for a while. 
<laughs> but how, yeah. does your, well, how does it work? I think we've all seen the uh, eat twig diet work for the short term, but most people can't last on it more than a month or two. Um, and so what we do is um, we take a look at the person as an individual. And so we, we gather a detailed health history, whether you're in our offices in Metro Detroit, or whether you fill out our detailed health history online, and then, um, and then we review it in the office. Um, we, if, if someone is in Metro Detroit, we start them on all the supplements that day. If someone's outside of Metro Detroit, we actually mail the correct supplements based on their health history to help them lose weight. And then we stand by you every step of the way. So if, if someone um, is outside of the Metro Detroit area, we actually use what's called Zoom calls online so that we're face to face with the person and um that's what, that's what this is this is a zoom call so yeah that's exactly to use yeah yeah so so the people who are um are you know we just had a client finish up our program in england and um they ended up losing 46 pounds and all of it was done via zoom calls and so it's been a really fun um addition to our offices because so many people are now taking advantage of the technology that that's out there now i i should point out that uh as this podcast uh airs and as this interview on youtube airs i will be one day into your program. Uh, so uh, I'm actually going to uh, put this all to the test because uh, as all my followers know, I share everything about my life. So we're going to actually try it. And we are doing a ton of traveling and making personal appearances around the country. So, and, and you know, that's kind of what has motivated me as I have looked at the videos I shoot and say, what happened to me? <laughs> and uh, so I'm very anxious to try your program. I, I, uh, I've just heard great things about it. And I don't mean this to be a sales pitch for your for your program, but uh, we are. I want everybody to know that I'm going to I'm going on it, and uh, we're going to we're going to probably get you to come on a couple of times. Uh, so I do progress reports. I do a live thing every Sunday night at seven o'clock, and we'll we'll use that part of that to update it. But um, when you talk about supplements, I've heard a lot of stuff back and forth on supplements. Some doctors mm -hmm. say you don't need it; you get it from the food you eat. Problem is our food is different now, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. You know, um, at the in the early 1900s, if you took a cup of of uh, spinach and measured the amount of iron in that cup of spinach, you'd have 50 times the amount of iron in that bowl of spinach or that cup of spinach versus a cup of spinach from today. And so, um, the the foods that we are eating are different. They're, they're uh, you know, a lot of times genetically modified and a lot of times the foods that we're eating um, are lower quality in terms of their, their nutrient status. And so one of the things that, that we do recognize at the Custom Health Centers is that um, many, many times we need extra vitamins, we need extra minerals to help us through our day. And then I really have liked the, the, uh, the, the study of herbology. So we use herbs to help calm down nervous people or, or support um, different organs and glands and tissues in the body and speed up a person's weight loss, um, weight loss journey or venture uh, while on our program. Now, uh, how much typically, I know that depends on every person, but how much typically does somebody, does somebody lose? And the big question is, we've all lost weight. I've probably lost tons of weight over my, my years. How do you keep it off? That's the next thing. <laughs> That is the thing. I, I just met with a woman who came into our office and she said, you know, Dr. Jason, I, I've lost over 2000 pounds. And I looked at her, I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, it's the same 20 over and over and over and over again. So um, the big goal that, that I have as, as a, um, a, a doctor, as, as a, a weight loss practitioner is that we want people to lose weight and then learn the tips, tricks, and strategies to keep the weight off. And so, um, the, the, uh, at the custom health centers, there's nothing worse than meeting somebody, um, six or eight months later where they've gained the weight, they've felt fall, fallen back into an old lifestyle pattern. And so, um, at the, Custom health centers, what we, what we actually do is do some hand-holding, not only through our 60 or 90-day program, 
but also through the remainder of that year. We want to walk beside you through every anniversary and birthday party, every celebration, every big game or sporting event or holiday that comes up so that you learn how to eat, move and think like a thin person for the remainder of your life and you can keep that weight off. You know, you just said something, move, eat and think like a thin person. Uh, my wife, who is a gym rat and uh, does not suffer the same tendencies I do, uh, <laughs> will often say to me, look at the people that are coming out of that fast food restaurant. Look at them. <laughs> and, you know, it's pretty effective. Uh, thin people do eat differently, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Yes. So thin people um, tend to have a, a uh, yes, a faster metabolism, but many times it's because they're making the correct choices over and over again. And so that's what we help people help people um, think about and and really a, address in their lifestyle. And um, and we see incredible transformations in very short periods of time. But the best part is when I talk to somebody who's done our program two years ago and they're saying, you know, I've got a totally different lifestyle now and I've kept all the weight off. That's, that's where it really makes my heart go, yay. Well, I'm going to uh, share some of the tips that I learned from your program with our audience. Perfect. And uh, we're going to try and pass along some things that they can all do to eat and, uh, and be a little healthier, uh, get control of uh, what can be a vacation mode syndrome where we're all year long we're on, or all the time we're on the road, we're on a vacation mode, but you can't live like that every day. So Dr. Jason, I know you're a busy guy. I, I will be sharing a lot with this, but uh, thanks. And I look forward to having you back on the program and uh, uh, a little less of me next time. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the in the offices and I'm looking forward to seeing less of you. That's that's yeah, gonna be a lot of fun. All right, thanks. Dr. Jason Thank Olison, so guest on the podcast and YouTube. Well, as I said in that interview, I'm going to go on the program myself. And how am I gonna do with it? Well, I am pledging right now to be accountable to you every Sunday night on our Ask Us Anything live report that we do on our YouTube channel. I will share the results of how that week has gone. I'm determined. I'm going to get myself looking like I did in that Bryce photo, and you'll be able to follow along. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. That's really important. Uh, YouTube loves those channels that get lots of thumbs up, so I hope you'll give us one of those. And also, would you please subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Thanks, everybody.